I'm afraid that the showers may still be around for sunrise services tomorrow morning, but maybe by Easter egg hunt time, maybe we'll get a little bit yeah, of sun. You, you know, put it after yeah, lunch, you know, so maybe you actually eat food sure. instead of just sugar, Jacob. <laughs> yeah, you know, I know my daughter's looking forward to opening her Easter basket because it is just loaded up with some chocolate. We are starting out the evening with some lowered visibilities in some of the areas that are seeing some of those showers. So the Cape and Islands, you already see some fog setting up, and that would be be the trend into the overnight. Don't be surprised if you head out the door tomorrow with either some showers or some fog or maybe even both. Still on the muggier side, today was the second muggiest April day that it's ever been in Boston since 1936. So pretty remarkable stuff. It felt more like June than it did April. And we're still tracking some of those showers. The upper level low is in place over the Ohio River Valley, funneling in some of that warm, humid air. That's going to stay in place for tonight into tomorrow and throwing wave after wave of shower chance at us. And we're still tracking some of those showers through the Cape and the Islands, mainly in those areas that were largely spared earlier today with some of the showers. Now we're tracking some of those moving through the Outer Cape and the Islands. And there were also a couple booms of thunder associated with this over the open ocean. So don't be surprised if you hear maybe a couple claps of thunder. But out towards, uh, we'll call it Chatham, Yarmouth, Barnstable, seeing some of that moderate to even heavy shower action. And even over uh, Martha's Vineyard, seeing some of those showers too. So again, that's going to be the trend for the next few days, often on showers. The best chance for more widespread showers for all of us will be Monday night and in, into Tuesday. And then our shower chance is decreasing as we go into the rest of the week. But still, one of those uh, sets of days, the next four or five days, you're just going to want to have that umbrella at the handy in the event that you do get caught under some of those showers. Starting out the day with just some light showers by 7 a.m., watch what happens as we go into Monday night and Tuesday. We start to see some heavier rain moving back in. Another inch, inch and a half of rain on top of what we already saw today. Again, waking up with some of those showers, especially as you go further south and east of Boston. And then there's the sunshine into the afternoon. As Katie mentioned, a good time to maybe uh, go ahead and do that Easter egg hunt into the afternoon and evening. And then Monday, we're starting out the day dry won't end the day dry with that system bringing some more showers to us right in time for the evening commute and beyond. Our wind speeds are out of the south right now, so we're staying mild into tonight. Our current temperatures, or our high temperatures rather, were in the middle 70s, very mild for this time of year. Our lows tonight do fall into the mid to upper 50s, and tomorrow we are back into the middle 60s. Uh, we do have those shower chances as well, especially in the morning with some breaks of sun into the uh, afternoon. There's your seven-day forecast. We'll call it unsettled for the next three to four yeah. days. And then by Thursday, maybe a break in the pattern before a couple more showers move in for the later week. Yeah, a little uh, humid out there. It was. It was a bit sticky, right? Just yeah. a bit. Yeah. All right. <laughs>